What's up everybody, it is Shane here for Waiting To Be Seen and today I'm in a, uh, a pretty terrible spot for making video content. Why am I here? Why am I doing this to myself? It's a very good reason for it. I'll tell you soon. This is how we do it. The reason why I'm in this very spot is because this is where it all started. The 52 weeks of vlogging, and I use that term very loosely if I'm honest. I don't traditional vlog most of the time, <laughs> but this is the spot where it all started. I was super excited. I had just learned a tip, a technique, a trick from an update for Adobe Audition, and it was the remix function for music, and I just wanted to, to share something about it. I was like, yes, I need to just talk about it, and I'm excited. And so I grabbed my old uh, gimbal, stuck my phone in it, turned around, talked to it, swiveled around to the screen. I didn't even use like OBS or any other image capture to do that properly. <laughs> I just used my phone to capture what I was doing and then pivoted back around to myself. There's so much about that that was not great, but it was the start. And I, in the last 52 weeks of video making, have learned an awful lot. There's a whole bunch of stuff style-wise that I've, I've, I've incorporated into my own style and and learning from other content creators here they're doing this taking this and today i just wanted to have a little bit of a reflection of that process so thanks so much for stopping by for today i'll try and be short <laughs> first thing that i've realized is that when it comes to youtube they recommend that if you want to gain traction with followers and subscribers you should be very uh niched you should be quite targeted in the type of content that you're making. I haven't done that for this first year and it's been intentional. I've wanted to make a variety of content because I've wanted to try and uh, and work on my creativity in a variety of formats. And it's been interesting to see what stuff works, what stuff doesn't work. Some stuff gets a little more traction, other stuff doesn't. And here I am 52 weeks later and I have double digit subscribers, people have been interested. And I think the reason for that is because of, as I said in a video just a couple of weeks ago, it's the thing under the thing for me. My intent from the very beginning, despite the horrible background, my intent from the very beginning was to try and create content that was useful and helpful for people. I'm paying forward the stuff that's being paid to me. That's that's very much the heart behind what I'm doing. And that's being borne out in the type of content that I've created. I've done a bunch of tutorials and most of those definitely been around Adobe products because that's what I use predominantly. I've enjoyed collaborating with people and I've only collaborated with three people in person on camera. Nathaniel, several times. You saw that last week. He is number one. Number one, that's right. I also did some collaboration stuff with UD. Shout out to him. You need to connect with other people. And then Beck. Beck was the collaboration itself failed the most. If you're not sure what I mean, I'll make sure that I, I link that as a card up above so you can check that out at your leisure. One of the other things that I've really enjoyed over the last year of making content is connecting with other content creators even though I haven't necessarily done video collaborations with them, if that makes sense. I joined probably five, maybe eight Facebook groups that uh, a, a variety of content creators are involved in. No Small Creator has been one of those. One of the other groups is Australian YouTubers. And the reason why I mentioned that specifically is because they had a catch up, a meetup for Christmas last year. And it was pretty amazing to be able to go and meet and connect with some content creators that have been doing this for years. Caked by Chopper, The Davis and Dennis Show, Captain Fizzman, Fizzman, Gear Seekers. It was a new experience for me and something that I've definitely valued. And of course, I've enjoyed being able to interact with you as my subscribers. I started the channel from scratch in, I think it was March, end of March maybe it was. Zero subscribers, zero videos, it was it was a zero channel. So to have released content that people have thought is worth watching is wonderful for me, but also then to have people say, we wanna to subscribe to that content and find out what you're saying. I, I don't take that lightly. I'm pretty sure I say that <laughs> fairly frequently. I, I feel honored that people uh, actually want to subscribe to to the Waiting To Be Seen 
channel. Am I stopping? No, I'm going to keep pushing through. I'll see how I go with, with the type of content that I'll make in the coming year. Maybe I will try and make things a little bit more targeted. Maybe I can try and, and separate days perhaps for, for video. I don't know. So if you have any ideas, have any thoughts, considerations that, uh, that you'd like me to, to ponder on, then please leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate that interaction. And as always, on that note, I'm going to finish up for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you've enjoyed it, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed any of my videos over the last 52 weeks, then give me a like down below, the big old thumbs up. And if you think that the content that I have made up to date is interesting, and the content that I may be making in the future might also be interesting, then why not consider subscribing to my channel? Click on the big old red subscribe button down below. Click on the notification bell and YouTube, they'll do the rest. They'll let you know as soon as the content drops week to week. You guys know this. So thank you so much for stopping by. This is Shane for Waiting to Be Seen, signing off for one year of content creation today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have a great weekend. Hope you have a great weekend too. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye. That's going to leave a mark. What?